What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John Thinkin' Media here. Welcome to you back to another episode of The Saga Walk. In the last episode, I totally trolled you guys and made you guys wait another probably day or, day or two to see the conclusion and what happens in the NASA fight. I'm about to get payback for that 100%, but let's go ahead and see. We're all healed up and good to go. Welcome, honored gym challenger. I think you already realized, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look at me. I know, I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer is quite refined. No matter what the plan, what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will sure will be sure to sink it. Okay, if this is anything like our boy, um, what's his face, um, Milo, Ness is going to be tough. She's going to leave with a Q-Fant. I personally don't know what type that is. I think that is Steel and we made the right decision just to leave Yay. That is where my head space is at. Airlock. Weather disappeared. I don't care about that right now. Yes, we're a weather-based team, but I want to say you are a steel type, and I want to say that I made a great play leading Yay and trusting my gut. It is. This music is so much louder comparative to everything else. Jigglypuff. That's a fairy type, and it's about uh, uh, to die. Bye. Innards out right here, right now. Nope. I was going to say that would happen, though. You can't tell me that that wouldn't happen right now on a Jigglypuff of all things. That yeah, Melmetal. Oh my God, Nessa, girl, what are you doing? You're just throwing. Yay! Literally was the perfect lead for this. Like the unintentional perfect lead. I should not have landed Wrath. That was a dumb idea. That's not gonna kill. That's literally gonna. Yeah, that was dumb. Admittedly, but this is resisted, so it's not resisted, but it's fine. Heat wave. Because that's going to do more damage, because it's not physically. Yeah. Yay, just solos the gym. <laughs> Who wants to learn Vine Whip? No. Heck no. Dude, if actually, if Ye actually does, though, manage to solo this gym. No, Ye is not going to. That's an x blood. That's actually scary. <sighs> Although, what would I switch into to counteract it? Tarant? Yeah. Of course, because if it's not Ye, it's Tarant. I mean, let's be fair. It, that's literally been the case this, this run. Oh my god, wait a minute. Ivysaur's gonna evolve at level 32. So you guys might... Well, no, the level cap's 30, so you won't, but... <laughs> or you you might, because of the level cap issues, but... Lock on. Ooh, you trying to lock on guillotine strats? No, 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 no. It's always scary when you see the AI just trying to do that kind of strategy. It's either that or she literally had nothing to hit me with and that we're completely safe. But you always got to press F to doubt on being completely safe. Woke up. 
lock on. Oh my god, we are completely safe. Why is Nessa actually posing no threat at all? Until her freaking Dynamax becomes a freaking instant roar and then we're fudged, but it's fine. We just pretend that that's not the case. Speaking of, I should probably heal if I'd save two on EA. I could have should have done that when we knew we were completely safe, but it's fine. Zerk tree. Well, hi, EA. You're coming back out. <laughs> Ye literally basically just took care of this for me. Should have healed, but that's fine. Bop. Okay, what is your Dynamax gonna be? What scary crap is coming out right now? Bop. Really? I feel like we stay in on that. Well, the Butterfree is scary. Thought processes. Because that actually has a Gigantamax form. But I think we just stay in. Looks like... Oh, no. Hmm... Brain says go with Heat Wave. And hopefully she hits you with like um not supersonic sky strike. Max airstream. There we go. Ooh, she did not gigantamax it. She regularly dynamaxed it. Oh, our heat wave goes first. Not a problem. Not a problem. Fucking yay! Let's fucking go! So that's the special attack drop, isn't it? Well, I mean, I'm celebrating, but yay still has the special attack. It's fine. Yay. If you know what's best for you, you'll do this thing called critting, and you will murder it. I swear to God, if yay actually crits here. No. Oh my god, yay. We're actually going to see the Dynamax kill animation. Or at least we should. Not even risking the miss here. You, it could not touch a yay. Yay really just so off this entire <laughs> Yay killed five out of the six Pokemon in this gym. Girl. How, how can this be? Now that I battle you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may be strong enough to challenge the champion. You need your Pokemon and, and are you and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this badge. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. You'll want to challenge the Fire Gym Leader next, as your Pokemon are now, or as you are, you and your Pokemon are now, he'll definitely want to back battle you. My sincere congratulations for beating Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. Whirlpool. Terrible. Literally pointless. What the heck. The water uniform. I just cannot believe that we actually did that though. 
do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table so you will not forget the fa the chairman's face. I will give you one of his leave cards. Got Rose's league card. We need to head there as soon as possible. Okay, Olenia, that's fine. We're making our way now. John, let's celebrate your recent victory, my dude. Oh, you were invited too. You two know each other? That's great. Come on now, please be seated. Holberry is a seafood town. Kind of like, you know, Seattle, Maine, and other places, naturally. If one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is just so delicious. Uh, by the way, how's Professor Magnolia getting along, or getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of the Wishing Stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would have never been able to Dynamax Pokemon without her. <sighs> she was saying that there was still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector, that's the device that allowed me to discover power spots, locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If she only were there were something I could do, if only there were something I could do. Sonia, yeah, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking secrets of Dynamaxing Phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I'll arrange a meeting with Mrs. Sonia. However, I believe that it is time to get going, Chairman. Hmm, but we have barely had a chance to speak with John. It is regrettable, but I suppose it cannot be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time. But like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you farewell. Ah, oh, does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look in, th in the Info of Legends, but... You got the Waterfed badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa is no small feat. Here's another TM for your reward. Oh, look, a literally, a little bit better of a TM. Nessa is a good friend. Perhaps I should stop in and drop by. Until next time, Jim Challenger. Of course. high has got to stick together, you know. That's just how that works. Alright, mate. You've got both Grass Badge and Water Badge now, right? In that case, we're both headed to Mono Strike and the Fire Gym Leader Kabu. How about I share you a little tip about Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine 2. Undergoing some special training. If he's there, then we can't take him on in Mono Stroke, so we gotta zip right over. Putting on the brakes on a gym challenge, so I say we, we had to gal our mind to ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Ugh, whatever. Isn't Bead here too? And and we get a Pokemon. Which honestly we didn't get a Pokemon from the other Galar mine, so I'm assuming that this might act act like actually be like the other the same. Which, to be honest, is fine because then it cuts out a experience gain situation <laughs> me it's weird not wanting to get experience but that's actually kind of the truth right now it's like oh do i want experience no i'll still switch in toronto just in case but i think this is one of like the close your eyes the little situations and we'll do that afterwards honestly when pod buzz will there's a fight. You again. I feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in the battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in a good mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose in a form of mercy, crush the weak opponents early on. If you're under a misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then you surely would be up for a Pokemon battle. Hold on a minute. Hmm. No time to deal with pathetic trainers. I know, Bead. Hold on. I'm getting an actual attacking Pokemon. I led with a catching Pokemon. In actuality, I would have just thrown whatever Pokeball. 
um, that I had in the front, or not the front, but like what I had. But so this is basically with that. Yes, and now I'm okay to battle you. Cause yeah, I knew this is like my my goal is the only fuck. Oh god. Um, luckily you're level twenty one. <laughs> How is worse than this? So this is this is fine. Oh no, it's not. The amount of just legendary Pokemon we're running into, and the fact that these Pokemon, I would have expected these two to present more of a problem. Although an overheat or something big could hit. Looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. Rain. Uh, 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 what? Huh? What? Why? What are you setting up for? Bruh. Bruh. Br this man's literally just changing weathers. What the f- Okay. Fine, I guess. Like, change the weather three times, why don't you? I'm, I'm, be bipolar. Whatever. It's fine. I don't- di We definitely need that. Ugh. What, what? We'll just make sail and- my. I have, I have sand and hail. Do you want that to happen? Uh. Honestly, though? I mean- we, we can get the sand going. I'm fine with that. We, we honestly might as well. We might as well get the sand going. Psyduck. Psy-yay-yay. Yeah, you know what? Let's get that sand going. Or not. That was a dumb idea. Okay, but he doesn't have an item on that thing, which is weird, because he's supposed to, I thought, but... Oh, no, now he's just going to pointlessly set up. Okay. I mean, this kills, I think. I mean, if he really wants to do that, he can. What do we got next? Hatterene. Hmm. I don't have that. That is actually a toughie. That one is a certified toughie. I'm going to go into fruition because I think that's the smartest play. But that is actually a good one. That's a good Pokemon. Good job, Bead. I don't, yeah, I think you actually normally have this Pokemon too, which is funny, because that's like your G-Max Pokemon. But you are not physically defensive, so. Dratini. We don't have any ice, it's fine. And honestly, Lunala gains the experience the slowest, so if anybody needs the extra XP, key staying out with Lunala or being able to safely stay out with Lunala is not a bad idea. Level 28. Shadow Claw. No. Moves, that's fine. Sunlight's gone. Gabite. Again, don't have ice. I was about to ask if that was shiny. That confirmed it. But I was like, is that shiny? I don't know. Not 100% sure. Doesn't Spectral Thief go through Protect? No, it doesn't. Okay, after the first second, I thought it did. Because I know there's a couple moves that do that, and you're just like, bruh.
what is one of, like oh my gosh yay yay even in the back is just like yep nope i'm chilling um stan excellent not everyone can corner a team like my team like this your team is absolutely terrible yes everybody can corner like this that was ridiculous that was a one ridiculous fight Oh, isn't there? Um, actually. Oh, no, those would be considered statics. Never mind. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Here's my lead card. Oh, I'm stupid. That's a puddle that I can get a fishing encounter that I can't see. The uh, That's the, the, the point of the fishing encounter. Anyways. Apologies for my stupidity. Um, <laughs> another fairy type. We've just gotten. We're just gonna get every fairy type that exists within this game. Um, okay then. <laughs> we just fought one of you. We're actually gonna have a fairy type on the team. We have to, right? I mean, if I actually go through every single game without having a fairy type, it would be kind of funny. Like, on the team. Now we have some in the box, but... But to be fair, with this, like, uh, the amount of grass that's on this team, it's actually ridiculous, but... Okay. Ooh, I actually caught, I fished you, so you actually have a higher chance of being caught now in this kind of Pokeball. Nice! Lugo Ball coming in clutch from the ball guy. Ball guy himself, look at him go. The catching experience being as high as it is also does not help at all. I really think that's what it is, or that's one, been one of the big kickers. Um, I'm gonna name you. Sweetie Pie. Sweetie Pie, what is your summary? You have, ooh, you have a TR. Launches a kick that lands a critical hit more easily, but also may leave the target with a burn. Launches a kick that lays in the cur Oh, it's Blaze Kick. Not bad. D Dancer. Good ability. Nuzzle. Heart Stamp. Hypnosis. And Agility. Nope, nope, nope. Not add to party. Blaze Kick, though. Can anybody reasonable in that one? Because I, I'm not opposed to that. If somebody reasonable can learn it, that is. Again, that's the big kicker. Ooh, Tarant can learn it. And Tawant can learn it. Uh, it's hard, because like, both of them have decent movesets, but... It's, that's going to be a forced battle that we can't avoid. Yep. Damn. Well, there's so many of these that I didn't expect to have. Okay. Worker Francis with a Cleffa. Oh, good. At least you have a Cleffa. I, if you have trash and garbage Pokemon, that helps me out. So please just keep throwing out garbage. <laughs> like, honestly, that is the hope, is that they just throw out garbage Pokemon. Because if we get out of this mine... If we manage to do that, and then go to Route 7, that Route 7 doesn't have any trainers, slash we can just fly back, and then, then we have the Kabu fight for the, once the episode that I wanted, which is 170, so it's kind of perfect if it lines up that way, obviously. Dusk Balls. Oh, that's helpful because we're in caves, but... Uh... Oh, there's a trainer. Okay. 
Oh my god. How did she not see me? How in the world did that chick not see me? I don't know how in the world that chick didn't see me, but she didn't, and we made it to the end of the mine. Cool. What are we leading with? Uh, that's a good lead, but I have a feeling it's a double bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, no. Even though the grass pairing is cool and the double the double grass to want pair is fun, I love the double grass to want pair, but... Scare me, mate. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're the one talking pit in the gym challenge, right? Creaky. It was something, really something they love a beetle against him to like use. Well, look at you, John. Surrounded by adoring fans. Ah, you'll even be showing up to Leo's party soon. Oi, jug on, mate. You can't see we're in the middle of a conversation kind of here. Yeah, I can't see, and can't you see that I'm hot? The trainer who is endorsed by the you and it will be your next champion. Oh, we got a joke here. <laughs> You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think I'll battle with you a lot. I, I think a battle with you a lot would definitely end some, with some laughs. Let's take them on together. I guess we have to. Okay, so it's not really a double battle. It's double battle with hop, which could go horribly wrong because it's with hop. But... Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy as all hell. Excuse me. <laughs> Cosmoium shiny is creepy. I don't... Ooh. It kind of reminds me of Cyclops from Bakugan. Or not Cyclops. Um, <sighs> The chaos eye that um, Julio has. Tentaclear? Or maybe... Tarant's not a good lead, though. Remember when I could have taught Tarant, you know, the fire move that would have helped me out in this situation? I do. Um, hmm. I think we've got to play the game of trust. But I don't want to play the game of trust. Playing the game of trust always goes wrong. Let's be fair. Yeah, actually, playing the game of trust goes wrong nine times out of ten. Dollar General is a special attacker, or special defender. Let's just trust our special defender and trust Hop that way. So we're defending ourselves in the case of something bad. Not what I was expecting. At all. Okay, we made a good judgment call on that. Because we even got doubled into. Look, he's not going to attack Frost Moth because he knows he realistically can't. I just gotta hope I get a poison here. I got it. Nice. Huge. Oh, that was really huge. I see what Hop's going for now. And that's smart. Again, I'm calling him smart for him to be dumb in 2.5 seconds, but... Still... I have two Sporamons now. Yes, I do. I'm 100% getting rid of Spore. By Facade, we haven't used you and had a need for you. Mm. 
Resisted. No, not resisted. Oh, you have more than one mod. Okay, didn't think about that plausibility. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, go into yay. Hmm. Bug buzz won't do anything. I'm gonna he probably heat wave. Yeah, that sounds like a play. It hits both of them. Oh, doesn't Lands Wrath actually hit both of them too? I think Lands Wrath actually hits both of them too. Although, yeah, and Registerville is a mixed defender, so it doesn't necessarily matter. It hits them with stab. Yeah, no, that's better. Heat Wave would have done better for the um, the Frost Moth, but with the Victini out there, I wasn't worried about it. Yep. Cool. Dollar General is going to get to level 28. Good job, buddy. Maybe you can learn a special move. Conversion 2. You've become a ground type now? Grass. Oh, because I used a ground move. Tabu Bulu. Well, I know what I'm doing with that. That's going bye bye. Spoopy wants to learn Worry Seed. No. That should OCO. Presumably. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for that, then, I think. And that might actually be it for today's episode, too. Crazy enough. Because we did 6v6 with bead. We had this fight here. Like, dog, this is crazy. Nice one. Kabu's got to be here somewhere. Yes, Kabu's got to be here somewhere. Oh, boy, that popped up right in front of my face. That's a trainer. I don't want to fight trainers. Preferably. I want to get out of here. Bag of soft sand. That's... That could be helpful for you. Oh, or he'll heal... Yeah, Hop fully healed us, apparently. He turned as soon as we went running. Couldn't avoid that. Fletchling. That's not bad. Honestly, no. We can just stay in on this. It's a Fletchling. I highly doubt. Personally, highly doubt that it's not less than a 2 KO. Damn. Yeah, I was like, it's a baby fledgling. We're okay. Oh, it has early bird, double edge. I mean, hey, if it wants to have double e or early bird, oh no, it doesn't. It has parental bond. Okay, that could have been way worse than it was. Also, if if Leafeon was Rillaboom, is Leafeon better than Rillaboom? That's such a good and weird question. Like, if I had grassy terrain, ooh, Basculin, that's an easy, easy dubs. Um, because... I don't know what the attack and defense stats of a Rillaboom are in comparison to Leafeon. 
but I feel like they're pretty comparative. If not, Leafeons are better, like, defensively. It might be overall bulk going to, uh, Sand Tomb. Pointless again. Reggie Steel. That's a cool... I kind of want the pan... Or the, the, the beer. The Cub Chew. Oop. Almost. After that up. Yeah, like, I oddly... Thank you for helping me out with my training team, y'all. But I say, it's unforgivable for you to get in my way of car coal hard at work. We weren't getting it its way. We're just trying to cheer it on. But you still did a number on us in that Pokemon battle. So it's time for Team Yell to scamper and give the more albus elsewhere. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Kabu's like, yes, okay, I exist. Also, 187. For a second, in my head, I was like, wait, what if it's their aces? Like, the national decks of aces. And I realized 187. No, it's a Galar Pokemon. It's normally sent to Scorch. Which, I mean, it could be 817. No, it's not. There's no way. That carcal from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know what Pokemon jobs are now, right? Of course you do. Oh, I don't know what poke. Oh, fuck. I could have actually listened to that and known what that did. Whoops. That actually could have been important. I'll have to look into what Poke jobs are because that could help. As long as they don't give me the Pokemon and me thing. Because if they do that, then that's I, I can't do that. But Okay, well, we're going to get this encounter and the episode. And see you guys in the next one. Oh my god! Bye. Um, and I can't wait to see where the journey unfolds from here. Because, oh, shoot. Three Gray Balls. Okay, cool. Okay, there's our encounter. It is a... Okay. Um, this might be one of our first encounters that we, um, run from. Because I don't think we can handle that magnitude of power. I really don't. Even the restaurant would be really freaking cool. And very helpful. Hmm. No, no. Mm -mm. Can't risk it. I can't risk it. I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't risk that. No, 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 no. We can find out later what that thing had. Also, please tell me that that's a... Okay, no, there. there. It's... Okay, now, yeah, now this is our objective. So, in the next episode, we got Kabu to deal with, which is crazy. But, we'll see you guys in the next episode when we take on our boy Kabu. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!